Hello and good evening boys and girls and we came all the way into the semi-finals of the European Modern Warfare 3 All-Stars Cup and my co-commentator for tonight will be the one and only Freaky Noise. Are you there man? Focus, yeah. And this time I didn't forget to unmute my mic. This time I'm you... so glad. Yeah, this time you're there right off the bat. Anyways, uh... What do we have tonight? Two teams, Striatus and Aerosol. Uh, you wanna go over the um, recent things that happened in the community first, or you wanna go ahead and just talk about the teams, or well, what do you wanna do? Uh, let's quickly update on uh, what's happening in the community, or what happened since the last time we have been uh, streaming. So uh, let's start with the list. I think me and Freaky have uh, made a little list, so let's go over those things. Alright, um, first off, we have a thing that was organized by some French guys, and later on I joined the staff, it's um, hashtag mvw3.lead, and um, it's similar to the Vita Nova channels in CD4, uh, you have to apply to the DSL forum to get into it, um, um, yeah, there's some rules you have to follow, and uh, there's ranking and such stuff, and yeah, that's about it. Yeah, basically, it works very similar to the way like the um, the academy and pre-invite and invite channels uh, used to work in COD 4. The only difference is it's a different game and run by different people. And uh, the more information on this one uh, will be obviously revealed in the following days or weeks. But uh, what else can you tell us about those uh, channels, Freaky? Uh, or what are they going to be for? Well, I guess it's going to be for the teams and it will split the teams in, I guess, two or three groups based on their levels of skill, experience and how they are organized, really. Um, let's move on, on to the next topic. What is it, Freaky Tell me. Um, one second, I have to search you on Steam, sorry. Um, I think it's vital uh, they disband. Um, they went kind of inactive because Plasma, the scope, was kind of bored about um, MBW3. <laughs> that was after they lost against us. Um, I don't want to say anything, but you got the idea, guys. Um, yeah. Um, that's kind of sad because they were a really, really good team. And yeah. Um, we can start with the knife round, I guess, where we just go over the uh, other topics. Yeah. Yep, sure. Um, the next one is the Gamers Assembly. What can you tell us about this, Joker? Well, uh, after a successful LAN in France, we have uh, another one. The previous one was called Game of Life, and um, we have received a lot of positive feedback from the players and from the organizers themselves. And uh, obviously, the team that won the LAN were Epsilon. And uh, there's another LAN which is of course the gamers assembly which m is meant to be even bigger than the game on live was so definitely something to look forward to in terms of the community of modern warfare 3 in europe um, so i'm really hoping to see more teams outside of uh, france coming in and compete on that land to actually prove themselves yeah, yeah just like nonpoint point said they were on the games uh, on the game on live uh, by the way um uh, did you turn off the uh, start screen so people can see the night round or? Yeah. Uh, good. Uh, just want to make sure. And Aerosol pick up the night round, that means Stratus uh, ban first. I'm just gonna tell them. And just ban first. Um, and yeah. Um, another thing about non point is that they actually made fourth place. Um, and yeah. As I said, we're looking forward to some teams coming to those lands. There's another one going up in Italy. Um, it's organized by a team made in Italy, uh, if I'm right. And uh, the price is actually pretty good, but they, they should split them a little bit different than they did right now. Like, they should give all the money to the first place. At least that's my opinion. How do you think about that? Yeah, well, um, okay. we have received some opinions on about the prices uh, in the Italian land uh, about not being uh, so exciting, but every land counts, and you know, 
I guess the uh, entrance fee isn't so high, so they kind of like compensate for that. But either way, in top three, you can win some nice prizes with some money. I think there's a few hundred of euros that the first three will win, plus some hardware. So, yeah. On the other hand, uh, a little bit of, uh, in terms of talking teams going slightly inactive, we have Team Telos um, with the same story as they have uh, player animas going to army. So they uh, kind of like lost them, one of the member from the lineup, which causes them to be slightly inactive. Uh, what else? Yeah, yeah, one thing I want to mention here is um, <laughs> uh, we started the elimination of the maps, and as uh, just asked, yeah, we first. Um, I said yes, and like one second after, or not even a second, they said the Kara out because there was so that's an obvious pick to uh, ban. Uh, Kara and Aerosola banning out Arcane. Um, yeah. Um, another uh, topic is, uh, is the Greek LAN or Greek online tournament that has offline finals. Uh, what do you want to talk? Uh, what do you want to tell us about that? Well, I um, I read some rumors about that one, and uh, obviously it's apparently for Greek teams only, which is kind of shame but it will help their own community to grow. So yeah, good luck and enjoy that. And especially the prices are pretty sick to be fair. There's apparently 10,000 euros. <laughs> in all three competitions, in computer competition, and uh, PS3 competition, and uh, an three, Xbox three competition. Yeah. But yeah, but in Xbox there are only four teams signing up, so they delayed the tournament, I mean, Come on, guys! Just do an international tournament with ten thousand euro. Come on, just good. Okay, you know. <laughs> um, anything else you want to add on the Greek uh, land? Uh, by the way, um, Stratus uh, pick lockdown. Joka. Um, not really. I guess we can move on if you got any more topics left on that. Yeah, list. of course. We can, um, of course, mention the Plasma's uh, frag movie, which he released after his uh, when he called it quits. It's pretty decent. There's some sick frags, especially with the scope. He's been known as a really, really good scope since Code Two or Code One, I guess. And he was doing the same, and his standards of play didn't really drop in Modern Warfare Three. He was doing pretty sick for Team Vital. It's a shame he left and uh, his team is now Yeah, active. but um, I, I think I can give some more info on this. Um, he might be joining back MVW3 in like one month or something. Um, the, the, that counts for every member of Vital that has gone inactive. So we might see a renew of them. They just told me, I don't know if it's a secret or something. But Okay. They didn't say it's a secret, so I guess I can mention that. Uh, another thing that we can mention is uh, there's another frag video going up uh, from My Revenge. If you didn't see, saw this right now, uh, to, to this moment yet, just go ahead and type My Revenge frag movie and VW3 on YouTube and you'll find it. Maybe we drop it with the ESL room, I don't know. And um, another player from Team Made in Italy, I think, or MSI, I'm not sure. Um, at least another frag video, it's paradise. Um, another really, really important thing is my team is searching an orc because we get, kinda got screwed up by Four Not. They lied about their support and uh, the contract, and you know, um, just, yeah. Just as uh, I did it on us before, so and like Evan, you did on their old team, and uh, the, these orcs just, just stop that. I mean, like, what the fuck? And um. If you don't have anything to add, I would like to go live. The first map is actually Sea Town, and the other maps we may be gonna see tonight are Arcaden and Paris. So, you wanna go live, Joko, or? Yeah, let's go add? for it. Can't wait. Stryatis um, it's the best of aerosol. Best of three, of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, knife aside, yeah. Um, uh, I, I totally forgot that. Knife aside, yeah. Um, you wanna go ahead and cast the knife aside? Yep, let's do let's go for it. Just a quick reminder, if you just joined the stream, you are watching the European Modern Warfare 3 All-Stars Cup semi-final. By the way, two. Joker, yep. something awesome. Look at that. I can join your team. Like, come on. It's awesome. Yay. Um, <laughs> so we can actually commentate, like, 
real No, thing, because know? Soaker isn't in yet, and he can't join, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, later on, we we only found the 12 slot star, we thought, and normally you, c you just can't join both casters in one team on 12 slot servers, so we are pretty happy to uh, be to able join to join now. now. You can't join attack now, man. Yeah. Um, but it's still AFK, so we have some more time to talk about uh, anything uh, we want. Like um, we talked about non-point set before. Um, they actually they dropped one player because he has to move to India for quite some time. I think one or two months. Not sure. And yeah, so we'll see how, who they pick up. And yeah. I guess you can't join defense, can you, if it's a 12 slow down? Nope. Game. Fuck it. I was so happy when I saw that. Anyway, it's a strange situation in the knife round. As it gets his third knife kill, however, it's taking number of soccer. Many uh, kills exchanged there. Uh, that's 1 1 1 situation right now. Yeah, a sub for Spiritus against Shaman. Whoever wins this knife round gets to decide the uh, side on C Town, which isn't that important, to, in my opinion. It's a pretty balanced map, but some players kind of favor the defensive side. Um, however, Aerosol gets to pick the side, that's what he's asking, the side. <clears throat> Le Def, and so speak. Pretty obvious pick. Can you say that? Well, okay. it's kind of like a, in a psychological way, you just want to see how your opponent plays and if you start on defense you kind of have the idea whether you're gonna play slow or fast so maybe defense the easier choice to start with you know just get going uh, calm the nerves down if there's any and just get yeah, going. yeah really. what, what, what my team is doing um we're our strongest side is actually the attacking side i usually get more points on this side but we like to start on the defensive side um, because it's more stable and um, you can see if the enemies are rushing or if they're staying pretty defensive and s things like that. Um, because if they are very aggressive on the attacking side, they're most likely going to be aggressive on the defending side too. And yeah. And we're going to go. Oh, well, let's go quickly over the team roster rundown. So for Striatus, we have Bati. Izo, Jiha, Virus and Tony. Tony and Jiha of course, the 18 members who are coming in to sub for Striatus. And uh, for Aerosol we have Soka, Eminem, React, Shaman and Peaky. As the run has gone down already and Team Striatus open up pretty confidently on this uh, attacking side of course as Tony has made his way from Tope into a link and Jiha picks up another one onto Shaman. Very, very strong opening from Team Striatus as they get, did they get a teammates? Yeah, yeah they, they got a teammates out of there. They played a very fast. Round. Wow, very um, well played. They kind of started calm, but as soon as they got the opening frag, they just uh, rushed with the SMGs and even the ACRs. Um, nothing really uh, Aerosol could do there because they got a fast frag into their face and. Yeah, that's about it, but Eminem gets the first track this time, Pieki gets another kill for Aerosol and Gia, however, Betty returns on Eminem, and Barris returns on Reax, they shouldn't have rushed further there. Um, Sorky gets tagged up, gets the kill on Betty though, uh, Pieki gets another kill onto Stratus, onto Iso, which is the scope, which we have seen so many times now, it's a 1 on 3 situation, a virus is the man to clutch this thing as they spot him, Sorky actually tags him up on the bridge area, uh, still a one on three situation, and Shaman is alive, he's the scope for um, uh, for Aerosol. He just spotted him again on the bridge area, I guess. Um, they're all just camping at every possible side he could be going. Um, one is spotting A top, one is spotting market, and one is actually spotting A long. As he's trying to get Shaman there, he takes him up actually. Um, Shaman getting some deagle frags into it. Uh, 35 seconds to play for him, he has to get the bomb down as Sokri gets the kill on the virus. Very nice played out by Aerosol there, they uh, they just locked the man down. Uh, that's, a, that's a mistake that many uh, many um, med -skilled, medium skilled teams do. They just 
rush and yeah, high skill team just wastes his time and no chance for him. Yep, let's switch teams quickly so I can see what's going on at the aerosol side. We are of course on defense. So I'm specking Eminem here as Isa opens up onto Soka Peaky with a reply however. Jihak gets one on to react as Shaman gets another one. Of course, the uh, Russian scope shaman has been known for his sniper skills, especially on uh, maps where you can use the sniper to your advantage. The maps like Resistance, Lockdown, and Sea Town 2 as well, which is the map we are playing now. As Jiha comes from top A and takes down Piki, he's a 80 teammate who is now playing for Stratus, takes down one with his SMG, he's finding himself in a 1v1 against Eminem, Eminem plays it steady, tags him up, he's gonna get the leap on, gets the rebound onto Tony, Tony should have done better there though as Eminem takes him down, Batty however gets the bomb plan down, and the situation is 2v1, Eminem in a clutch situation and defusing a bomb on A is really really difficult on C-Town, he gets the faking, makes noise, they know he was faking and Batty takes him down and uh, Triatus pick up a point and the score yeah, is sad. two to one in favor of Triatus. Yeah, it's just sad. Um if the bomb is going down on A and it's not like a five versus three situation or something like that, it's really really hard to defuse the bomb because you, you can cover it from so many ways. Um Shaman gets the first kill on virus. There Eminem uh gets another kill on to Astriatus and Tony there. I bet he spots one on A long. Only tags him up though, carrying us back now. Jiha gets the kill onto Eminem though. Um, Izu carrying uh, Betty's back while he rushes uh, the A top area. Actually, he's bottom A now. He has the bomb, but however, gets taken on by Reacts with a nice pistol there. No chance for Betty there. He was slightly flashed and didn't see anything. Sorry, gets another kill onto Jiha. It's a 4 1 situation. Uh, Izu was his fourth aerosol. Um, he is the man with the scope. If Stratus doesn't play that really good. Um, and well thought out, uh, they could get it, and uh, Izu gets the kill to Pieke, gets another kill with his pistol there, impressive stuff there, one on two situation, Shaman's still alive, uh, he could, could get the scope kill onto, in a one with one situation, but Eriso is looking to play very defensively, let him go on the bomb side and just get the kill when, once he goes there, Izu's actually going a long, um, he's now moving into the box area, with his uh, scope in the, ha in the hand, um, still one on two situation, 25 seconds left, he's making some sound, I'm pretty sure they know where he is now. Um, picked up the bomb, 20 seconds left, he's smoking out so he can pass the, uh, pass the mid market area, however soccer was on the market and takes him down. Uh, at one moment I thought he could make it when he got the quick consecutive kills there. Yeah, um, Shaman what, what, was working, uh, Shaman was uh, watching the spawn side and uh, the entrance from A long and Soka was there at mid just uh, watching the cross so they had it on lock pretty much so let's switch sides again let me go attack as uh, Shaman opens up onto Batty with the scope Virus however shuts down Peaky ACR frag as meanwhile Tony is working his way into A as he gets a flash tag he tosses the nade and lands it onto reacts 1 minute 20 remaining and the situation is 4 weed 3 in favor of Striatus as uh, Jihad just shuts down Soka Aizu's there with the scope only a balcony has a peek onto boxes here's the call from his teammates as uh, this Jihad heavily tagged up will go for his region now doesn't want to peek because that won't be too smart as Eminem picks up virus in the meantime that just leaves Tony and Jihad along with the scope to get this round. It's uh, a little bit more even, but uh, it's Eminem and Shaman in the clutch again against the three members of Striatus. Aizu tries a quick scope into Tope. Eminem shuts him down, however. Tony is going for the flank all the way around the spawn. Has a look in the library. Doesn't see much though. As uh, I'm s experiencing some lags. Is it the server or is it myself? Either way, Jihad uh. needs to regain the bomb, which is dropped in an awkward situation as Tony picks a one onto Eminem, and that just leaves Shaman, the uh, Russian, with the scope, and he's been spied on eight. Fire shots go off. Shaman does peek it, but he gets dropped by Tony as a uh, magnet there. Nice round by Tony. He played pretty steadily. He worked his way through mid into the spawn, and 
picks up the uh, round winning frag for his team and the score is 3-2. Uh, 3-2 three two. Three two in favor yeah. of the Atos, yep. If, if it just could have killed the other guy with his uh, Digo, um, it would have been their round. It was a pretty good try there. As Bati gets the kill onto Eminem and Sorka spots one on B long, takes him down. It was the Jihad, makes it a fawn for situation, all even now. Um, well, the start, and it looks like there's a slow round coming in, but PK gets the aggressive kill onto Tony. He was standing right at A long and just starting on the A arch. As Betty gets another kill for himself onto Docker. Of the man covering B, but Shaman is still on B. Gets the kill onto his back. Now they know where the bomb is. He actually dropped it there. It's in the flower area of B. Um, Shaman actually hears one in the market. Rick still covering A. Shaman now picked up the SMG from Batty, so we can do some more pressure there. Um, React actually gets the kill into Virus, so now it's all up to Isa once again. Um, easy scope, and Shaman is still alive. So, no easy picks for him because he always has to expect the kill, uh, the other scope, as he picks the kill into React. Um, Jack, uh, however, hears him onto A top. They know, knew it anyways, but they have the bomb, and Pierre just uh, rotated to the bomb. He's covering the spawn area, and Shaman spot, uh, is covering the switch. They hear him coming. Um, they actually see him. He's coming from the back, from the market. Um, Shaman gets a tag on him and uh, is able to finish it up. Even if Isa would have got uh, Shaman down, there still would have been um, Pierre, was it? So, no real chance for them though. Um, one, one thing we, we mentioned in the game before is that Iso is always the last man. How, how do you think about that? Uh, you know about the Shaman being the last one almost every round? Um, Iso. Iso. Okay. Well, I don't think it's nothing new really. You, the scopes are playing like the most long distance and uh, most more, most defensive kind of approach if you, if you want to call it that. And uh, when they left the last man alone, it's it's kind of a lot to do, but they always gonna look for that secondary weapon, you know, so they can come in close quarter battles. And as you can see, Shaman just beasting with that eagle comes in and shuts down the Stratus attacks. This is like the third time he's done it now, and situation uh, is Shaman in the clutch once again. He's just the last one standing, and he gets shut down in the process. He did pick up a frag to cut down the Stratus attack on B, but. Uh, he finds himself in a clutch situation again. It's been like the fifth time this happened and uh, on this map, but this time it was well, too much for him. Well, to be honest, um, it's a still uh, still a close game. Of course, it's just at the start. It's a three-four scoreline, but I would say that either has to uh, has to be more aggressive. Or his teammates have to be more defensive. They just have to coordinate that. As Eminem gets a quick double kill onto Tony and Betty with his UMP makes it a three to five situation from the start on. It's a pretty hard uh, clutch, if you want to call it like that, um, to make. If you if they already pushed you down to your spawn to the bridge and everything, and Shaman is on B long, and he cannot scope everything as Rick gets the, a kill onto Iso, the scope not dying as last this time. Um, virus, however, kills Shaman, that means the scope is down. A 2 on 4 situation as someone gets tagged up from Striatus. I'm not sure. Um, it's 15 minutes, uh, 15 seconds actually, um, on the clock as Pierre gets a kill onto Virus. Um, <laughs> that means the clutch, yeah, is finding himself is almost impossible as he gets taken down by Eminem there. Yeah, Jihei was expecting Pretty Eminem to come from a uh, top bridge, but actually he jogged down and Jiha was looking up and he takes him down. Not much to Jiha. A nice brain on this part. Indeed. Uh, so let's switch teams again. So I can spectate the uh, Russian team, who are, of course, Aerosol. Let me join defense, bra. There we are. Situation still 5v5. No early frags, and there's React with the Magnum onto Tony. Defensive kill. Strat is one man down, however, make it all even again as Batty replies onto Shaman. He, f he was the last man standing for, uh, for the aerosol side, but this time he goes down early on. 
as uh, Stratus go a little bit more aggressive as you mentioned Freaky this round and uh, let's see if it's paying off for them well the situation is 3v3 it's all even uh, do they still have the bomb or has the bomb been dropped Freaky the bomb has been dropped on eSport okay so I assume that the aerosol do know about it which only makes it more difficult and there's Peaky with another defensive frag on to Jiha that makes it 2v3 in favor of the Russian team and Virus how did he pick up that frag he just drop shot it reacts both going down but uh, reacts was more lucky so to say in that because it was all 50-50 and there's Peaky picking up one and I think he spotted Izo as well but he kinda didn't wanna go for that battle with the scope because he had his sights on him and the situation is 1v2. Aizo needs to come and he does. He takes down Peaky. He's gonna rush for that A spot. He's been spotted by the ACR and Soka gets the headshot onto him. And that makes him <coughs> 5 to again, 4. Once again, Aizo was the last man. He was sitting on a market pretty defensively. And the, the uh, 2v2 situation, his teammate rushed forward. Well, he was covering the uh, mid market way, but to be honest. He should have went more aggressive, picked up a weapon or something, go to A top or, or whatever to support his teammate right on the spot. Because they knew where the bomb is, as Eminem get, goes aggressive, kills Betty, however Tony replies onto Eminem. That makes all even once again, 4 and 4 situation. And um, who's in lead? I think it's, uh, it's actually Aerosol, so Stratus has to get this round. Like all evening, and Tony fanning his nade there, reacts not fanning his nade, getting a kill to Virus. Um, it's a 3 on 3 situation, uh, both scopes still alive, nothing new. Aizu is still, uh, again, in a very defensive position, but Aerosol seemed to be in the back of um, Beatus. Yeah, as Aizu spots him and takes on Pierke. Pierke thought he was unseen, but he made some sound, and Aizu heard him and just took him down. Now it's all up to react. One was three situations. Aizu picks up the bomb, will move to B. Jiha is already on B. I'm watching into the switch. Tony is flanking onto A, actually. Flashing switch now gets the flash tag. Um, Aizu gets tagged, but however, Jiha gets the kill into react there. Very well played out there. Um, this time it was actually correct from Aizu to be very defensive. But, um, if he would have been more aggressive in the past rounds, I think the score could have been really different. Yeah, they decided to go a little bit more slow this round, but it did pay off for them as they chose B side as a secondary choice. And the score is 5 5 now as Eminent goes down early on once again. Of course, he is the SMG. He will try to make it annoying for the uh, Striatus team. So let's have a look at the top fraggers here. We have Eminent, he just uh, died on 9 to 10. Obviously he's doing the damage even though he has the most death as well. As uh, the next onto him is Izo, he's doing a little bit better in terms of uh, kill to death ratio. He's on 10 to 7 and he of course is the scope of Team Striatus. And uh, pretty even to be honest in terms of frag, looking at the scoreboard freaky, no one really underperforming and uh, nobody really out fragging anyone by a huge margin. Either way Soke has here some uh, movement in the market so he will be playing this one really steadily as the 43 seconds left in the round and the situation is 3 4v3 actually no 4v 4v3 yeah no 3v3 now and uh don't know why you are alive ricky as there's peaky find himself in action has to reposition himself and he's expecting someone to come into this spawn from a long and there's Izo coming in, gets the headshot onto Reacts. Virus following up onto Peaky, that just leaves Soka. He has the ACR in hand and he will need to protect this. But he rushes in and Jiha hears him, and takes him down across the uh, mid alley. And uh, they take the point for the team. And the defense is kind of. That's what. What's up? This is what I wanted to see. Um, Izo picked up the, uh, all the UMP and went into his A house, supported his teammates there, and he's top ranking anyways. But um, I like this playstyle much more, and it worked out. If, if he wasn't there to support his team and just sit on the market like last round, they would have lost. But he did it all right, and he gets the kill 
of the sham on the opening kill. That means the scope is down for Aerosol. And um, since only 5 vs 4 situation and the scope down, as I mentioned, that's a, uh, the scope plays a huge part on this, in C turn. Um, as they are still hanging out of market, as Pierre gets the flank onto them, kills Betty though, and he's still in their bag on the spawn. Um, they spot him now, though Rick gets the kill onto Tony, um, while his teammate is distracting for them. Um, they still have to care about their bag, because they are still in the bag. Um, Gia is covering the spawn, now moving to B, Varus is covering Catwalk, and Isa once again scoping the market, but that's not what she can do this round, because they have one in the bag, they can't move forward, because there could be a player popping up any time. And the, the clock is going down, 35 seconds, as Sokka gets the kill onto Gia, who tried to go aggressive onto B alone. Mm, I'm not sure about his decision there, um, especially in the 3 versus 4 situation. Um, they still have to care about the guy in the bag, 20 seconds left. Um, Iso tries to kill him, um, gets killed herself though, and Pierre gets a double kill onto Iso and Virus there. Amazing play uh, onto Pierre there. He managed to sneak onto their back, killed one on market where they were all standing in market, and somehow managed to survive and play it all calm and, and just get the uh, quick two finishing kills. Um, it was all his round because he made the pressure onto Iso and the other players on the market. They, there was nothing they could do um, because he could cover every single way. But um, on the other hand, it was um, Jiha's fault. He tried to move on B alone while his mates were standing with a bomb on A. And I don't know about that one. Yeah, and the score at the halftime of this first map is 6 6. It's very even. Nothing separating the teams uh, following the last round of Soka's magnificent performance really to be honest as uh, he grabbed the point and made sure there's nothing there's no gaps or no hill to go up for the team aerosol as Isa opens up onto react Soka getting the tags spots one on the A house stairs but he needs to be careful of the opposition scope Isa who will be guarding that A long and mid if he is scoping, I guess he is on defense. As Peaky, his teammate, does pick up Tony. Eminem aggressive has been spotted in the A house. He's gonna cook that nade and hope for the land. And he does land onto G hat. He will not be happy about that one. Eminem still looking for some more. Soka, in the meantime, picks up virus. ACR frag on A long. Peaky and his teammate are in the top houses. Aerosol will probably win this round. They have the A set on lock. However, Batty comes in with the SMG, shuts down one, gets taken down by Peaky in the meantime, jumps down from top A house, gets the headshot onto him. Izo coming in with a scope shot onto Peaky. There's a, there's a Aerosol, Shaman, and Soka. The last two standing for Aerosol against uh, Izo, the man himself in the clutch situation. Can he do this? It's going to be difficult for him to uh, defuse this because they are going for the B push and he's been spotted crossing into B. Shaman stops the planting. However, he decides to go for it now. Ahsoka has the SMG. He's got the mobility and the speed. But they still haven't spotted him yet in the last few seconds or so. And Shaman, he's going to camp himself out in this uh, B link house on the table. A little unexpected position as Shaman finds himself in a firefight and Izo gets knifed and there's the one well, was, lead for the Aerosol Yeah, that, that was pretty unlucky because he got stuck behind the wall right on his face if he would have been like a little bit more to right he would have gotten the kill I'm pretty sure indeed he um, it was a really nice temp there yeah, he managed to get one down earlier and it seems like we have a, an aggressive round Tony is rushing Betty is supporting him with a smoke and uh, nade. Uh, Gia, however, gets the first kill to Eminem. Uh, Tony managed to sneak up uh, at this arch, ar arch area um, under the mark uh, under the top market, I would say. Um, so they have the market completely covered. As Isaac gets the kill onto A long onto Soccer, makes it a three versus five situation this early. Um, pretty hard. Um, Betty gets the kill into Rix, gets another kill into Pieke there, very nice from him, going very aggressive, even putting us out his magnum and tries to get another kill. Uh, good stuff from him there, and now Stratos is just pushing out for Shaman. One versus five situation, you, you can push out at that time, 
Um, but it would be awesome to see an ace in this first situation. I'm pretty sure it won't happen here. Um, they switched all over to B, where he is, seemed to be on the B, uh, B spot. Um, he gets, uh, Betty gets the tag on him, but now all players are hunting him. He gets the kill on to Jiha, a uh, farm man still alive. And they're all hunting him with a pistol, Woo! but he gets the kill on to Shaman. There. He failed the knife, by the way, Shaman did. Oh. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's switch sides. And, uh... Yep, the score is even again, 7-7, seven seven, uh, right? Yep. Indeed. As I'm gonna follow the Striatus guys here. Receive a smoke in mid as Eminem aggressive again. SMG doing very well so far. Taking down the opening frag onto Tony. As there's Batty guarding the bottom A house. With the SMG spots one, tags up Eminem. Doesn't get the kill however, and there's the uh, Aerosol reacts. Batty with the... Very well defensive frag onto himself as he takes down the uh, aerosol player who did rush him. A shaman takes down the striatoscope Izo, but he's still standing, however. He was tagged like three times in the last 30 seconds and he spots one. Jumps down from top A house, takes down Eminem. That's the uh, top fragger so far of aerosol down, and that just leaves shaman in the clutch once again against Batty, Virus, and Jiha. Batty, of course, on the A balcony. Jiha gets the flash tag, so they know where he is. His position has been called, however, his Deagle is doing the magic again, but he needs to be very careful as Jiha is coming from his back. However, Jiha decides not to go aggressive and will just try to guard the top A house as Batty will be watching the A long slash mid cross. Just Batty and Jiha against Shaman. Does he have the bomb free key? Uh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He needs to go for the frags and unfortunately it doesn't pay off for him because Batty and Jiha had this one very well covered. They did know where the bomb was, I guess. And uh, there's Batty with the kill cam onto Shaman. Yeah, he got four kills this round. Absolutely massive performance by him there. Um, picked up the ACR during the process of the round. Um, however, um, let's see how Erso will move on to this round as Tony gets the, uh, the Next opening kill for Stratos. They seem to be getting this opening kill each uh, every round. Eminem, however, replies onto Tony with his nade there. And Pierre gets heavily tagged up. He has the bomb is in these, uh, this top A area. Uh, Shem still scoping on uh, the B. Be longer. Um, unable to find anyone there. He's moving out now. Um, Spetty gets the kill onto Eminem. Um, Pierre, however, picked up the bomb and is moving into A. Uh, bottom. Here's some movement going on as Shaman gets the count to Izo. Um, gets ahead on the scope 1 versus 1. Can be pretty crucial on the top level. Alright, and uh, we have a 3 versus 3 situation. Um, but the scope is down for Striatus. However, there are 40 seconds left for Aerosol uh, to plant the bomb as Pierre is mo moving slowly but steady onto this A spot. He's bottom A right now. Uh, doesn't spot anyone to A uh, on A spot. Shaman is still on B. Trying to get another kill there. Circle is moving around onto A long. Uh, leaving Pierre all alone and Jihai picks the kill onto him. Um, Shaman misses the scopes kill there and Virus gets the kill to soccer. 10 seconds left for Shaman, one of those three situations. The bomb is far away from him, however, he sees two guys and Virus gets another kill off the round. And to be honest, there was a big, big fault from Aerosol that shouldn't happen at this, uh, this skill level. Then they were all split up and um, Pierre was wanted to play, uh, wanted to plant on the A spot, but he couldn't because he had no cover because they were pushing A long and B long and he just got picked up while they just pushed and didn't do any team play there. Yep, let's switch sides. As, uh, we have another aggressive push this time by the aerosol team. Izo, however, is shutting down Peaky, who was on top bridge. The bomb has been dropped, but Soka will just pick it up easily, but needs to be careful. Not to get picked up by Izo again as Tony gets a frag for himself as well. Soka, as I said, regaining the bomb as this reacts. He will go, but A and he's been spotted by Batty, who's been playing really well in the A house. Just completely dominating it so far, just like 
um, Eminem did in the first half. He was playing mid really impressively. As we have the situation, 4v1 again, and guess who's the last man alive? It is Shaman, indeed, as he gets a nice frag onto Izo. Scope and scope action, Shaman. Getting the sexy kill onto his opposition scope, as he's been spotted and fired upon from all the direction. And Batty coming in again with a frag onto the last man standing, Shaman. Making the score 10-7. Sitting on, the 10 to 7. Sitting on yeah, 11 to 1. Is that? Yeah, wow. One. Oh my god. <laughs> I was calling obvious. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty obvious if you ask me. But I bet you have a switch to B this time. Uh, tossing out the smoke, reacts at the first come to Tony. Bet he's going offensively on B now. Um, his smoke is covering him. And he sees two guys on market. However, uh, he gets taken down by his circle. Um, now Gia has to move to B. Whereas, however, gets a double kill into reacts and circle there. Makes it a 3 or 3 situation, both scopes still alive. And there are two men on B, for Triatus and Virus covering A alone as Isaac gets the kill onto Shaman. Um, not a scope versus one, uh, one versus one, but a nade kill from Iso there that gets the kill onto Shaman. Makes it a 2 versus 3 situation. Bombs still to be planted for Aerosol. The time is ticking away, uh, uh, 55 seconds there. Iso misses a scope shot onto top A. Um, Gia takes some Piek. Um, it's all up to Eminem there, and he has been spotted. They know he is in the top, uh, not on top A, but in um, A long bridge or something. He's in top A, Hal. Yes. Jumps down now. Yeah, and actually, they uh, found the bomb onto A long, and Ravs gets his third kill of the round onto Eminem with the pistol there. Misses some shots there, but is able to get the uh, pistol there. Um, Stratus is leading quite heavily. What do you think is Aerosol doing wrong, or what is uh, Stratus doing right? Well, uh, um, as I'm talking, let's switch sides again. Uh, I've noticed that it could be the problem of attacking kind of thing, because they seem to be a little bit more slow-paced, kind of or ori ori orientated on this map. As you can see, Stratus, it was much more, uh, much more even uh, from their point of view when they were attacking, but now as you can see, Strahatu is on defense very steady and they also couldn't come up with anything so far well as uh, they are leading 5-1 to one on uh, defense, Strahatu's team. And uh, as you can see, the situation is 2v4 again in uh, the favor of the Strahatu's team as Bati find himself in a 1v1 as he's put the Aerosol players on the bridge. And there's one going down once again, courtesy of Jihaz ACR and there's Bati with the final kill of the round. Making the score 12 to 7. Uh, map point for Stratus, of course, as you can see. There's Bati with the final kill come onto Shaman, who has been in the clutch situation too often, too often. Sometimes not really clicking in the Aerosol team. I don't know what he is. I'm really hoping they will pick this up on the next map we will play. So, yeah, take it over, Ricky. Yeah, one, one thing I saw, um, they seem to be uncoordinated on these. 3v3 situations, 2v2 situations, as uh, two quick kills get exchanged. Soho takes on Tony and Betty takes on Shaman in return, that means scope down for Aerosol. Um, yeah, as I was talking about the team play, um, the 2v2 situation and 3v3 situations, uh, these are the things that decide who wins, not anything else. So they really have to work on it. It's un uh, unlikely for them to fail at these points as Sorg gets the kill onto Virus. Um, it's finally round going into their favor as Jihad picks the kill onto Eminem and Sorg gets tagged up by Jihad too. It's a 2 on 3 situation. Let's see how they can play this out. Um, Pierke is going with a bomb on A spot. Um, He's spotted around the corner, he is now planting, and uh, Re React is started watching the same position as uh, React changes to A long now. Um, that's the right decision there. And Betty gets the kill into PK there. A uh, 2 and 2 situation, Soccer and React are, uh, are in the top A. Um, it, it's very hard to defuse, but if Betty can get the rush into this uh, A top area, uh, A top house, they can do it. They just have to get the fake down anytime soon. Um, but Soccer is going. It's a fake actually. And um, Gia gets the kill into React. Now it's all up to Soccer. He gets the kill into Batty. But gets taken on with a nade from Gia. Oh my god. The clutch there. Oh my god. I can't believe that. And again, they, they should have played it 
differently because they were both top A. They should have uh, made some uh, fake sounds or whatever. Um, someone is actually telling me uh, that the screen has uh, that the stream has a black screen or something. Uh, can you is look over that? Or um, let me fix that. Shouldn't be the case, really. Um, if there's anybody else who's experiencing the same problem, please let us know. I see that we have 76 viewers, and if there was a problem, I don't think the number would be of the same value, in my opinion. Uh, please let me know on Steam or something. Black screen says uh, one. Try to fix it. Um, let me see if the black screen is still there, guys. Um, so Aerosol lost the first map, it's 1-0 for Stratus right now, and the thing is, um, Aerosol picked the map Resistance, and because they lost the third map, that didn't got picked or eliminated, um, they, get to ch they get to play their map now, so um, they should be feel comf comfortable in their map now. Um, I played them on resistance. We actually won. They have a really, really good strat. And, um, they play kind of slow pace, but th they have really strong rushes onto mid and uh, onto B, obviously. But um, the meta game right now is like um, you try to get the bomb plant on B with many smokes. So, but uh, in the top notch area and the top teams, uh, it has completely changed because um, people found out ways to uh, cover the B area without getting taken out. Uh, yeah, uh, you can toss nades onto B without even going around the corner or anything. You can uh, counter smoke and that, that there are so many things you can do um, to stop the enemies planting. And um, so. The meta game in the high skilled area has kind of changed. You you try to get the frags first before you plant, and yeah, and and Aerosol is doing that really good, actually. Uh, if we had some like some kind of tricks um, or special tactics, we wouldn't have been able to um, get it done. And um, the guy that told me that black screen says uh, this, uh, the stream is back. Um, do you agree on my opinion on this map, or have, do you have anything to add, Joker? Or no, as you mentioned already, this map is one of the more difficult maps to play, especially because of the fact that it's so B dominated, and you really need to have the team play and the coordination going, and it needs to be strong, especially at this level. If you don't have that, you're not going to pick up many points, especially on defense, because uh, Attack has been kind of known for being the. Uh, Stronger side and the easier side to pick up well, the points actually, on. Uh, actually, um, the defending side has grown more and more powerful. Um, on the uh, game on life LAN, every single time uh, resistance was played, the defending side got more points. And every single uh, PCW we play, uh, we experience the same. It might be the pro mode or uh, the meta game change. I don't really know what it is, but maybe it's the kind of yeah. experience that you played. Uh, this game on LAN and obviously um, it's kind of known in the FPS games that maybe in all the games that people play a little well maybe co sometimes in some cases even completely different or they have a different approach to uh, the play style from the, the way they play online and the way they play at LAN actually it may be more or even much more com like kind of like careful if you yeah, but I'm experiencing, I'm experiencing the same thing online too, so I'm not sure. Maybe the side, uh, the strong, strongest side uh, have been changed, or uh, I'm really not sure, because as I said, on the high area, um, on the MBW3 point elite area um, of skill, it kind of has changed, and um, people are experiencing with other strats too, they... Um, I've heard from a tactic that a non point is it made um, that can, can could change the meta game again. I don't know. And yeah, what we try to exper uh, experiment with are some uh, A goes, mid goes, or something. And so far, we are pretty uh, going pretty good with that. Um, we play a punchline, um, a punchline, but we played aerosol and. 
picked up like many rounds going for these mid pushes or something. Um, yeah, we're going live into the knife round. I guess. Yeah, we are gonna go for the live the knife round soon. But uh, yeah, in terms of the individual performance, uh, um, the first side in the well, the first half on C town was kind of very balanced, as I mentioned. But the second side has been pretty much dominated by uh, Batty's SMG play. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to if he's gonna keep up the uh, quality of his uh, play on this map as well, or if you're gonna see the scopes dominating this map. Obviously, resistance is known for scopes to be playing a major role, especially down the B alley, you know, the stairs from the defensive spot and the bishops. Of course, they're gonna have Shaman against Isaac coming up against each other, the sniper battles. Exciting to watch. So, I'm gonna be looking forward to that one. Uh, he's gonna be more accurate with the sniper. Is it gonna be Izo, the scope player of Striatus, or is it gonna be Shaman, who is known to be an absolute beast on this map? So, I guess we're going live for the ninth round, or or is it not yet? Freaky, can you update me on that one? Um, actually, there were some uh, questions if, uh, if we actually play in ninth round, or if Stratus gets to decide the, the, uh, the side, but gonna play a knife round, and the winner decides the map. Um, Tony is actually kind of AFK, but he t tells me, so gonna be delayed a little bit. Okay, so I'm um, just waiting for Team Stratus to ready up all the players, I would say. Yeah, um, one thing that could play a role here is that uh, Aerosol, um, they live in Russia, obviously, Everyone should know that, and it's kind of late in Russia, I think, it's like, depending on the time zone, it's like 12 o'clock or something, so they could be tired or something, I don't know, that could play a role, that's just something I want to mention, so, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we do get cracking as soon as uh, Tony comes back, and we don't want to delay this for too long. Of course. Yeah. Um, if we um, go live with a knife, um, the knife round is actually pretty uh, important on resistance because um, either the defending side, with what I have at least experiencing, and uh, some of the other teams too, or the attacking side that's really hard favored and gets many kills, but um, most of the teams still choose uh, the attacking side. Might be right. I'm not sure, and some games even go uh, balanced on the side, so we'll see how much the knife round uh, will do, the, do, do to the outcome. Yep. How much one side of the map could be or something. If you just tuned in and you got the link of the stream, you are watching the European Modern Warfare 3 All-Stars Cup. Two teams in the second semi-final match is, are Striatus and Aerosol. Striatus have managed to win the first map of this best of three, which was MPC Town. 13 to 7, was it, Freaky? I think it was. Um, yes. And, yeah, it was pretty, pretty balanced uh, in terms of the first half. But uh, Striatus did prove to be a little bit more stronger or more coordinated on attack, and they managed to pick up many points on that and uh, so I'm looking forward to what can we see from Striatus on this map this time and obviously the viewers themselves are looking for a response from Team Aerosol on this map so uh, we are kind of just waiting for the players to ready up so we can carry on with this I think we are still just waiting for Tony to Come back and yes. ready up. True Tony, <laughs> to be honest. Um, um, one thing someone asked me right now is, um, what promo is going to be played in ESL? Well, I think that's kind of sure now, because um, there are some promos, like the XK mod, which been updating anymore, and Know, and it has lack of futures and stuff like that. And there's another promote which actually lies on his futures. Um, he says the futures thinks that 
doesn't really include. The, the only really possible um, mod is the uh, mod by Z, uh, Z X Z Z Z, um, a German guy or um, a Swiss guy. I'm not sure on that one, but he speaks German. Um, I'm I'm actually testing this new pro mod. I uh, tested some of it, and you tested some of it too. It really looks awesome. You jump higher, the movement is improved, and many other things. It really, it's really going to be awesome. Yeah, the wall bank has been made a little bit stronger as well. Of course, when you get hit, the uh, flinge, you kind of like the kickback, has been lowered as well, so you can stay a little bit more on your target. And uh, what else? I think the sprinting time has been uh, increased into... Yeah, for one second was. longer. Yeah, or two. I yep, don't know. One second. So it should be. It basically the Promod 1.9 made by ZXZ will be. Will what effect is it going to have on the game? Well, it's going to make it more faster paced, more fast paced. Uh, it's going to be more kind of like flowing, so to say. So it's going to be obviously more fun to play and uh, more enjoyable to watch, of course, because you're not going to have yeah, people one, one sitting thing. in the spawn that time. What's up? Yeah, w one thing that I really uh, get pissed off is when I sit somewhere on a really, really slight edge and I get shot and I get pushed back and then I fall off that thing and die because of the fall damage or something or just lose my cover like on Seaton or the boxes and this thing is removed too and I really, really like that one because it's not competitive to be honest. So get my point, Joker? Yeah, I agree on that one. It wasn't really in the previous Call of Duty series and uh, you don't have this kind of stupid features in uh, the other FPS games like CS for example, so it will be adjusted to make the game more fun to play but still keeping it competitive, so I'm really looking forward to 1.9 it's gonna be released in the next week or two uh, Not only keeping it competitive but making it more competitive. Indeed and um, one more feature I can mention is um, the warbang is increased. Um, it's kind of like in Black Ops in the pro mod. Um, you can shoot through uh, thicker walls, um, yeah, and through material that should block more uh, damage normally. And I'm excited about this one because. There could be new strat coming up, there could be new things, new play styles for the ACRs, for the rifle players, uh, of course. And being one of these rifle players, I really, really like that. And it's going to make but, the game more lethal, you know. And uh, new wall banks will be made, of course. So it's going to make the game more interested. And I'm really looking forward to uh, what kind of wall banks will the community come up with. You always have those videos or even uh, the teams keeping it to themselves until they go live on stream or people watch the demos and kind of like improve uh, from yeah, each other. Like, like we did with the scope jump thingy, you know? Yeah. If, uh, for those of uh, you guys who watched the stream, uh, uh, Ionet against Vital, I think it was um, your striker Romain, who's uh, known in game as uh, RTZ, who made th that shot a little popular. You can uh, even call it Romain shot. Uh, it was actually on this map resistance where you kind of like go from defense spawn, you go out of the main spawn gate to the right, and you go on one of these uh, those poles, little green poles. Joker, don't tell everyone, please. <laughs> <laughs> you <sighs> you can see top sandbags, you jump, and you get some sexy scope shots. So I'm I look forward to to see if Iza or Shaman are gonna use that shot in this uh, semi final of the Modern for Free All Star Scope. Either way, yeah, I'm getting and, kind of um, impatient, so I hope Tony is not going to yeah. take too long. Can you uh, ask them have, if they uh, have any update on that? How long is it going to take? Yeah, ask, um, they're not sure. They say um, they're sorry for that. They should be. Um, but but as I was talking about, the um, but the ACR gets stronger. Then on the same time, the uh, SMG class gets stronger too because um, you have this um, movement improvement. This um, that you can jump like you have 20, uh, 250 FPS and you sprint a little bit longer uh, and such. So um, they really, it's really good for SMGs to have that extra speed and 
Yeah, so it's we, gonna make them even more mobile and faster, as you can uh, uh, kind of like use the strafing even more. Like you're gonna enjoy it a lot more with the uh, increased sprint time and uh, increased jump height. So, as I said, <laughs> looking forward to 1.9. Yeah, and so there's even more stuff which I haven't mentioned yet. Like, um, um, w when you spawn and move, you you kind of block more than in other CODs. Like in CD4, for example, you block less with your model. You know, um, you increase uh, decrease that very very slightly. Um, if you don't look for it, you won't see it, but that's another thing that can make the game kind of more fluent, more uh, more fast-paced, and uh, yeah, that's, that's a really nice thing, because you won't really see that, but it will, uh, will change your game, some kind, and yeah, what do you think about this one? Well, I think we, uh, we already mentioned that, so... Um, really? Yeah. As a as I said, it's gonna make the game more faster, more mobile, and more fun to play. More lethal, with the uh, wall banks being made stronger. So yeah, it's gonna make the game more competitive and more fun to play. So it's only a reason. And to uh, yes, yesterday he even he even told me they found out something new. Um, he, today he told me what it is, and if he can pull this one off, the game will be freaking awesome. I can tell you it will make the game some kind of similar to the other promotes. CD4. Yeah, he such. mentioned something to do with the perk structure yeah, that you can... Uh, yeah, exactly. So, um, struct is where all the data is saved and uh, he normally had to do some, some, in some kind of sneaky way and now he can do it. By the way, um, Tony's back. And, we're going live for the live round. Woo! -hoo! Woo! Hallelujah, Tony. And um, if 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 Stratos win this live round, they will um. Uh, if they win this map, sorry, not this live round, um, they will win this series, this best of three series, two to nil, as they won a uh, Sea Town. Uh, with a pretty impressive performance on the defending side, and yeah, that, that's about it. As uh, we witnessed the first map of this best of three semi-final match between Stratus and Aerosol, the first map has been won by Stratus, so it's going to get more intense now. As uh, whoever wins this map kind of determines whether the if it if it's going to be Stratus, obviously they're going to be the winners of this match, and they will uh, face the Orglus X Illusion Networks in the final which is my team <coughs> which is Freaky's team who are searching for the Orgs so any Orgs watching, listening uh, hit them up and give them some nice support don't don't lie to them and, uh, yeah we have two organizations lie to us Aerosol the <laughs> attacking side and they're just actually saying they want to go defense and it seems they're experiencing the same thing that I mentioned before that uh, yeah. the defending you side is getting defense? more and more power powerful. Yeah, right now we are pref we prefer defense. Um, first of all, because it's defense and it's easier to play, and it has a, a slight favor to it. Um, so I'm glad that 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 the other top teams are experiencing that too. Um, I already talked to Norm Point Eset on the LAN. Um, no, not live. Um, I already talked to him on the LAN, and I said, like, well, what the fuck is up with this shit? Like, the carrot turned into a defense map, resistance turned into a defense map, and they said, oh my god, we were talking about this, like, five seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. You wanna go ahead and cast the first round, Joker? Indeed, uh, I've picked Striatus because uh, they wanted to play this defense side, and s s looking at Izo, he has a little interesting sight going on, as he's gonna be trying to take out the guy who's a... Uh, watching the mid area from behind the wall as Tony's already on the kiosk, the magazine box. So he has a really interesting position to protect the B bomb site until he gets spotted. So I don't think he's gonna be firing off any shots until it's absolutely necessary. As there he is taking down Eminem who was probably the bomb planter but following up onto Peaky. Team Striatus really 
Kind of like coming in again, uh, but reacts coming in the spawn and taking out the two. Batty, however, with the revenge frag, and that just leaves Batty, Jiha, and uh, of course the scope ISO to protect this bomb site. Obviously, no surprises. The uh, target of Team Aerosol was the B bomb site as Batty picks up another one onto Soka. Jiha is guarding that spawn road around the cars. He needs to be careful. One nade could activate the car explosion chain and take him down and he will go in the unhappy mode as Batty has progressed further up the B alley and the time is ticking down firing off his ACR 15 seconds or so left in this round and uh, Shaman oh wow in the clutch once again 1v3 eyes of Batty and uh, G has been yeah he's not been taken down he has been still alive as Izo comes in and uh, gets the frag on to the last one standing, who is Shaman again. Betty says, kill Sila. <laughs> Just mad. Um, yeah, that doesn't, I don't care about kill Sila or something, as long as the team wins. And as I said, uh, there's so many ways to defend this B side now. Uh, you saw the uh, aerosol smoked, um, and then when there was another smoke, and Shaman picks up the kill onto the virus there, but Jihai gets the counter soccer. There's so many ways to defend the bomb side now, and teams have, are really experienced uh, with this now. Speak it tries to go for full plant, uh, Betty going from behind, I guess, onto Eminem, and Tony gets the nade kill to PX there. Um, making it a forward two situation. Shaman and reacts left. Um, Shaman get a nade tag there, but um, Stratus get the smoke out and the nade out onto um, Camion. It's called in French. Uh, I'm not sure how it calls in English right now. And they just pick up the kill onto Shaman. They know where he is. And yeah, as you see, the defending side um, really turned into the favorite side. Um, I would be surprised if it would change like right now because, as I said, there's so many ways to deny the plant. Yep. Let's switch the sides again. I want to have a look at uh, what the uh, Russians are not really doing right. As uh, they are, of course, an attack. As we have Soaker on top sandbag spamming the little green gate and made Eminem open up onto Batty. That's the uh, top fragger of Striatus in this game. Shut down by the courtesy of Eminem's SMG play. Going for the nade kill. Does he land? No, he doesn't. As he. Nobody watching the green gate from Team Stratus. And Eminem, if he plays this one carefully, he can pick up one or two as Reacts coming in, taking down Virus. There's Peaky with the bomb plant. However, Reacts has been shot down by Tony. Was that a shotgun kill? <laughs> no, he was right on the, on top of that uh, magazine thing. Also, you know? <laughs> he, he's, he's doing the same as there's, uh, as I mentioned, nobody watching the meat gate from the uh, spawn of Stratus, a position that really needs to be watched by somebody. And uh, Eminem, of course, using this to his team's advantage and making the score 2-1. to one. Yeah, when I played against um, uh, against Aerosol, like um, yesterday, I think it was, um, they always use mid side. They always try to get uh, through this one. Uh, so Stratus really have to watch out for this. They either push uh, this mid shop or the mid gate. Tony gets t tagged up um, by Nate, uh, a smoke going up, Soccer gets the first gun to ISO, that means a scope down, most important player on uh, resistance as Virus returns though, onto React, Pika gets the uh, revenge kill onto Virus, Tony not tossing out the Nate, I'm not sure, he should have saved that, I guess, it's a 4 and 3 situation, and only Batty has a Nate left, it's, that could be the round of Aerosol towards 4 situation, uh, right here. Um, it could be a possible clutch as Batty sneaks from behind, doesn't get the kill though. Um, Gia gets tagged up at A long, they know where he is. One for situation, bomb down. And Batty uh, calls out, go do it safe. It's a shame That's you didn't exactly watch this uh, uh, interesting 1v1. Shaman against Jiha, I think it was. Uh, Shaman only had the Deagle and Jiha had the cover and the ACR in hand. And Shaman coming up more successful in that battle. It took a while, but uh, the score is 2-2 now, so let's switch sides again, so I can uh, check Pro out this Triatus guy. The problem this round was that the uh, Aerosol managed to sneak behind them and didn't go for a straight plant or something. That's something you have to watch out, I said the meta is going to change to this, so yeah. And it seems like uh, this round, 
uh, started the way the last round has ended, but this time Jihan, I think it was, it was, he did take down Shaman. He, he's probably gonna be meeting up with Shaman quite often, as uh, for some reason, Team Aerosol decide to play the scope on the A stairs as Batty comes in, shuts down Eminem, protecting his mid this time. Unlike the previous few rounds, as there's Izo, of course, the scope of Striatus. Looking for the guy in mid shops, as the situation is 1v3 this time. This could be a. Wow! Izo coming up in clutch, takes down one, he needs two to go. It was a 1v3, but he gets stacked heavily, he needs to be careful, get this regen before he can do any movement. Cooks the nade, kinda doesn't land where he wanted to, as he's kinda in a little trap there. He's got two to find, spots one, tags him up heavily, but the reacts comes in with the SMG. And of course, the upper hand in the close 1v1s, but uh, unlucky from Izo, only got a one tag it seemed, but uh, when I was speaking it looked a little bit more tags. Anyway, the score is 3-2 to two and Stratus are losing now. So yeah, there was three consecutive rounds, surprisingly there. They made some mistakes there, they, they kind of seem uncoordinated on their defense, they let Aerosol sneak through. Aerosol isn't even playing this slow or something, which they did against Arson. I'm, not, I'm really not sure how, how they failed the round before. Um, Virus got the car kill on the react there. Um, obviously, it, it were the um, aerosol SMGs that managed to get uh, on their back or just push forward. Uh, this time, Tony uh, is the SMG that shines and he gets the kill on uh, Shaman. That means scope down. Um, another thing I, I see right now is ISO. Uh, isn't really top fragging right now, which he should be with the scope, um, to be honest. Uh, Eminem, however, uh, gets the nade kill onto Betty. It's a forward free situation, and as I said, uh, Aerosol like to play very slow, but then push really hard, and that's exactly what they're doing now. Eminem gets the kill onto Tony. Um, Varus, however, returns it onto Eminem there. Um, another thing I mentioned was that Aerosol really like to play uh, this mid area. Also gets the kill onto Soccer. Apparently some kills going in from either there. One was free situation. Uh, Piek going onto a spot. Has he been has he been spotted, Joker? Not you know at that? all. Um, he, he's getting the plant done, and this could be a very possible clutch if he can get the kill to either. At least one more guy. Um, he's standing in the top corner. And he sees flashes coming through. Sees one going right in front of him. No tags on him. Uh, but how Jia takes him down. Uh, he almost got taken down by Piek there. It was a really close fight. And yeah, like I said, Erso really like to go through the middle or something like that. And um, this time, Stratos did it right. They covered everything. They stayed back. They used their uh, utilities. And that, that's how you do it. Yeah, they kind of uh, left the A side uh, sort of open. I think it was Jihai who plays on A, but uh, he was protecting the B plant. Uh, but the Eroso guy was a peaky. He managed to get the bomb plant down on A, but uh, one with three, and he got flashed, and they pushed him in. So uh, he kind of failed the clutch. Uh, let me spec attack. You are of course the Eroso guys, as uh, the situation is still four v five in favor of. Striatus, as Eminem was uh, the only one going down, the SMG player of the Russian team was there, Speaky, the bomb carrier. He was in the clutch last time, picking up the frag now onto Batty just before Tony got one. But Jiha taking a one, Peaky with the next frag in this round, headshot in Jiha, but he needs to be very careful as there's a Striatus player behind the corner of the B bomb plant, Peaky, just uh, kind of leaping out across the uh, smoke. On the B alley, Shaman has spotted the opposition scope. He used Izo, of course. Both of them fired the shots off. Nothing lands. As there's Shaman looking for any sort of peak from Team Striatus. Of course, they're gonna play this one careful. As the situation is 3v3. And uh, Peaky does have the bomb, and he managed to get through the mid again. But, uh, however, this time they failed to. Uh, use that to their advantage as the cover 
Look at that. He managed to come all the way almost to the, the gray, gray car on the spawn road, but uh, quick reaction from the Striatus guys. If it was a different situation, he could probably pick up one or two, but this round it wasn't the case. As the score yeah, is 43 uh, in favor of uh, uh, Striatus, of course. I was missing a scope uh, first track there, and uh, Striatus is now playing this, like I said, you have to play it. You have to cover this rushes onto B and mid and A long, of course. Uh, and just use nades and everything to deny the plant. And that's what they're doing now. And now they start to pick up bronze again, I hope. As, uh, it's currently a 3 and 3 situation. Both scopes still alive. As Isaac gets the nade count to Rick, there was a very nice nade. But no nade on spot. That was a pretty hard mistake. But, however, is on the back and got a kill onto PX. Uh, it's a clutch for soccer now. Um, many smokes going up. And there's the real diffuse going in as Jihad picks up the kill onto soccer. And that's another thing. Um, many teams uh, have learned how to retake the bomb side. You have to smoke it out. You have to try to get someone from behind. Maybe you have to get the nade onto the spot guy, of course. And um, once he got it planted, and then you have to, to get the flashes on. Bam! Um, that's how you do it. That's yep. how Seattle said it. Obviously, as use of smokes is probably m more frequent than uh, on any other maps in Modern Warfare 3, in terms of the competitive maps, of course. So let me switch teams again so I can join Striatus, who are, of course, on defense, as there's Tony in a 1v1 against Eminem, taking him down. Eminem trying to penetrate that mid-gate time and time again as Shaman takes down Jihad. Tony has been spotted in the meanwhile. Runs away as he spots the Ursul player on the... Restaurant wall, and I think he's been. It was Shaman again. He's uh he's been trying like uh, switching it up. B shops, then uh, A stairs. You know, trying to get the picks, but has it been working for him? Five to seven. Uh, maybe so, but his team is losing by a two round difference. Five to three is the score. Striatus are winning, of course. They are on defense. And uh, Tony is watching that mid gate this time. And uh, Virus has been tagged, I uh, believe, from the guy who is playing on ban. But Tony finally picks up the guy who was trying to sneak into A. And that just leaves Peaky, the bomb carrier, in a clutch situation in a 1v3. Yep. 1v3. There's Izo and Virus reacting to the fire. Tony playing it smart, not trying to peek him, not trying to challenge him. Escapes the incoming fire, and uh, this is pretty much impossible for Peaky as he tries to go for the A plant. Takes down one, he has two more to go, four seconds left, there's no chance he can get this. Izo and Tony just waiting. Tries to go for the frags, Izo comes with a sexy hatchet onto him. Kind of like too confident, even if he would have died, uh, Tony would uh, just play it safe and not try to challenge him because he didn't have enough time to, of course, to get the plant down. As the score is 6-3 to three and uh, Team Striatus are building up uh, a little lead here. And our team are also gonna go for the timeout freak, do you think so? Um actually they should be, to be honest, because they managed to get three kills. Uh three rounds, sorry. But now they are losing rounds again. So in my opinion, once they lost three rounds in a row, you should take a timeout. Th that's just how I would do it and uh Spirit was getting the two first kills again, but Pierre is on the spot. The nade fails! Oh my god, that's their chance to shine now. Sorry, gets the kill on the Betty. Um, I, I pretty much know what nade failed there, because I'm the one failing this nade usually. Um, Shaman, however, gets a kill on the Jihan. Um, it's a 3 on 3 situation, Bomb is down. Uh, Soccer is uh, covering the back, but he's the one with the only nade. That's a mistake there, he should rotate there. And they're going for real defuse, but... Uh, Pieke gets him down. Uh, Shaman gets a nice kill onto Virus there. Uh, one w was two situation. It's all up to Tony and Soccer spot him on the right side. He could get the kill though. And he doesn't. Shaman covers oh God, this made up. Uh, and it's finally around for Ersol again. It was pretty unfortunate that the nade failed there again. Um, yeah, if the nade would have gone down like it should be, that. That would have been the round for Spiatus, 100%. Yeah. But unfortunately, it didn't. That's what usually decides the rounds on this map. The, if you get the bomb plant down on B, you have the upper hand. But uh, 
Shiatus failing to protect the bombsite from being planted. Either way, they are still winning by two points, six to four. We well, they had the nade onto there, but he, he missed the nade. He yeah, like. he had the nade, but it didn't land. Either way, here we have uh, Stratus on a little aggressive round this time, as we have uh, Tony picking up Soka, the guy who was playing top sandbags, and this is gonna disturb the uh, <laughs> the peace, so to say, of attack of Stratus as Jiha takes down Eminem, and uh, Piki does get the bomb plant. Either way. Uh, as you could see, Freaky, they had players going around the spawn and through mid, but uh, it, uh, it didn't pay off as there wasn't enough people protecting the B site as the bomb has been planted again. And this could probably be another, uh, uh, excuse me, Aerosol round as Reacts and Shaman do the job. And that just leaves Stoney last alive and Shaman takes him down. And the score is 6 to 5. Really? really I don't know what Stratus is doing because. I'm but why, why would you change your tactics when the tactics are working really, really good? They, there were always like four people still alive or something, and also didn't have any answer to this tactic. I really don't know why they changed it, like going aggressive on A long or something. So if they get the plant on B, what are you going to do, you know? You, you can't even do the great uh, retake tactic that everyone uses at this time. Um, however, no quick scope kills getting ex exchanged. Betty gets the kill, gets the kill onto Eminem. Isaac gets the scope kill onto Piekle. Let's see Stratus we know. Um, three on five situation actually. Uh, all members of Stratus still alive there. Um, however, the scope for Aerosol is still alive. He could be doing some serious damage there. Um, they, are, they are rotating to A. Every single one of them is, go is going A long, sorry. Um, it's a pretty desperate move because um, retaking the A side is pretty easy, I would say. It is indeed, um, especially the Striatus have five minutes standing. Yeah, but I usually tend to. Oh my god, they have no smoke, okay. Um, it's understandable that they try A when they have no smoke. But you get take gets the kill to Shaman, scope down. Uh, but however, he gets the wrench killed by Soccer. Uh, Betty, the first member down from Stratus, as Varys gets another kill to Soccer. It's all up to Rick now. Pretty impossible clutch. Nine, 18 seconds left on the clock. He has four members to find. They're just gonna waste his time and get the frag. There's no chance for him. Yeah, he's Seven trying five to plan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would have been awesome if he got, got that. Um, Four frags yeah. in like 15 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Wow, that would be. Uh... And all the bomb, bomb planters. Um, I did something like that. I did a, a one versus four situation in like two seconds. Decided that, but... but there's always some kind of luck going into this. Yeah. And the halftime score is five to seven. Um, to be honest, it could have been like eight to four or even more to Stratus if they they, they made some really stupid mistakes or that they got unlucky with that nade or something. So it could have been way more to their favor. And yeah, normally the defending side is um, even more favored right now. Indeed. Like I said and. Uh, go ahead and cast the first round, Joker. Yep. Um, either way, Stratus did play uh, stronger on attack on Seatown, so let's see if they're gonna play stronger on uh, resistance as well. The map, also known as MP Paris, of course. As the situation is uh, 5v4 in favor of Stratus, and there's Soka coming in with the flank, takes down Batty, however, Virus straight away with the revenge frag. Again, that mid area hasn't been really covered by the Stratus guys. This could also be due to the fact that uh, they have two subs coming in, uh, namely Jiha and Tony, who are of course the players uh, who used to play together. I think they still play together for Team AT, who used to be Avenue. Now there's Eminem against Tony. Tony taking him down, however, Piki in a clutch. Uh, he was the bomb carrier for Aerosol last time, and uh, let's see what he can do. He's kind of used to, to being the last one alive as he takes down one. He has two more to go, Jihan and Tony, the two subs coming in for um, 
Team Striatus, of course, and he needs to defuse that bomb. 30 seconds left to do so, and he's just kind of like trying to pre fire all the spots, and the bomb has been fired in the middle of the road. However, if he goes kind of like inside the B plant, he can still defuse it from there, so not really necessary to do that. As you can see, he will grab it and tr go for the defuse as he does so, and they try to kill him, and they are like, how come I don't see him? But Tony makes a better angle and takes him down to pick up another point for his team, and the score is 8-5 to five in favor of Triathos. What went wrong in this round, Joker? Uh, well, I don't really see what happened on BL, because I was specking the guys in mid, so I think it was that the uh, aerosol, kind of like the defense on the BL, wasn't too strong, or maybe uh, the the nade landing surprised them too, and then they didn't have, of course, enough people to protect the bomb from being defused. Of course, I mean, um, planted. Strat yeah, Stratus are doing um, a, a pretty slow push here. Virus uh, watching along very, very defensively here. Um, Jiha watching mid area with this teammate Batty, who has actually who is actually a bomb carrier for them. The first smoke is going down. Um, Virus gets the first kill onto the deck, and the nade tag is going down on the B alley too. Uh, Jiha gets another kill onto soccer. Um, still all members alive for Striatus. As Tony pre fires, gets the tag, and Betty gets the kill onto Reactor. They know where the last. Oh, it's actually two members alive for Arrow right now. They get another smoke down, and Eminem rushes them, gets a quick double kill onto Tony and Betty. Um, can they do the clutch? They made it a 2 vs 3 situation with a quick approach. Really nice play from Eminem there. They didn't expect it or they just yeah, they just got surprised. Jiha is flanking them right now. Uh, both scopes still alive. If Shaman can get the kill onto Iso, they can do it. Um, they actually flash the guy onto uh, AL and now they're gonna rush him. Shaman gets the kill onto Jiha in the middle area. Um, they know where both is. Virus gets the kill onto Eminem. It's all up to as we get an attack onto virus, and now they are rushing him. Um, he wasted all his pistol ammunition. Uh, he gets tagged on, and Isaac gets the kill to Shem. Oh my God, that was a really possible clash. Uh, pretty in intense stuff there. Shem got Shaman. unlucky, to be honest. There, he got like yeah. two tags, and he all could have possibly clutched that. But uh, that smoke uh, <laughs> spam with the ACR Eminem just came in and kind of like pre-fired. Did you know the map knowledge behind the? Uh, the green slab that is on B long for the smoke and he got two men in there. Uh, either way let me switch sides so I can have a look on the Striatus team. Who are attacking of course as Virus does land the nade kill. As Batty spots one, he was crossing into Bishop, so he's of course eminent, probably the most aggressive player of the aerosol line. And there's Tony and Izo. As Tony goes for the nade, but Eminem does surprises him and it gets Tony, but Izo was even tagged and reacts takes down Jihad. This could possibly also round Izo with a defensive rank, however, onto Eminem, the player who was pushing a lot. And uh, that's of course what the SMGs should do. They should be the uh, should be kind of annoying, if you want to call that, and hard to face. As the situation is 2v2, Virus and Izo against Reacts and Soka. Izo and Virus still on the spawn road. Virus of course does have the bomb which is gonna help them but uh, the bomb side is pretty much on lock. The first frag that's gonna go down is gonna decide this and is it gonna be... Oh my god! Reacts goes huge and picks up both of them! Massive play! There's Reacts waiting patiently takes down now with the headshot, takes down Izo as well with the UMP Impressive play, and Aerosol really needed this round. I <laughs> bet this comment onto this was two red, red retards, free for sale. I just bought them, as it seems. And uh, Zarku replies with the same here. So, you know, they both have their problems, and Tony gets the first gun to react with his UMP there. Um, I guess he rushed um, H uh, B shot, sorry. Uh, Zarku is pretty offensive. But Usually something Eminem does, but this time they switched around. Socrates offensive with this ACR. Eminem is offensive, but um, Eminem gets his flash out. Betty gets the uh, uh, ACR kill onto Piek. However, B is smoked and Tony takes down Soccer. And 
He is on the B spot, it's heavily attacked up by Eminem. And there's another smoke going down, a nade going down. Um, nothing we really ever so can do. Um, when I played against them, I experienced that they still do this kind kind of all defense. They go into the B alley and try to get the kills uh, with going aggressive or something. Th that's now how, not how you want to play this one. You want to get the nades in, you want to stay on spots where you can't get naded, and you want to get the smokes out and rush or something. But I could do it now. I don't see a great future for them because with, with the old defense, you can't really do much against the attacking side. Indeed, but uh, there was a response right away from Team Striatus who did lose a round they should have really kind of won. Well, it wasn't even situation 2v2, but they were the defensive side, so uh, shouldn't have really peaked them. And uh, there's Tony picking up Shaman as uh, Jiha goes down. Courtesy of Peaky's ACR. Peaky still in action. And he's the last man alive. And he has three to find. Iso, Batty and Tony. Tony playing really impressive. 8 to 2. Peaky spots one. That was Tony. I take that back. He's been shut down. Really exposed there. Shouldn't have done that. As Peaky fires off the shots. There's Iso coming, leaping in. <laughs> trying a trick shot or something. But Peaky is kind of hopeless. Yeah, but he does pick up Batty 1v1. But Izo is going to come in. Misses all these Magnum shots. And Peaky almost defused the bomb. But Izo comes in from the back. Slice him with the uh, <coughs> knife, of course. And the score is uh, 11 to 7. No, 11 to 6. In favor of Striatus. Who are kind of building up a slight lead now. You alright, yeah. Freaky, or did you die after that choking? <coughs> um, I'm alright, um, I still can cast, and I guess it's okay. I don't Just respawn, bro. Shot there. Yeah, I respawned, no problem, everything okay. Um, Aizu is missing many scope shots today. Um, he's currently sitting on 5 to 2, but Sokka gets a double kill there. As I'm speaking about Aizu, um, he gets, just got taken down. Um, but he gets the revenge kill, though. Um, However, it's a 4 vs 3 situation, and no mind, uh, Gia gets a quick nade kill, Shaman returns it down to Tony, it's a 3 vs 2 situation now, um, favors have been shifted once again, um, they still have 2 smokes as Gia picks up Piek, they're just firing down the cars uh, so they don't get exploded, um, they're both sitting in that middle street, I'm unsure what to do, they just talk about it I guess. They still have two smokes, as I said, so they could be pretty good uh, to go on B. And they still have one nade left too, and Shaman gets the kill into Betty. He shouldn't have peaked after shooting there. That was a huge mistake from him there. Um, now it's a one versus two situation. They had everything they need. They had a nade and two, two smokes and two versus two situation. And, you know, as Shaman gets another kill on this round, um, I believe he gets three kills, the three last kills here. He, he turned it around once again. Um, at the start, it was in favor of Aerosol. Then uh, uh, Stratus got the nade kills in, and then Shaman got crazy and just killed everyone. Well, Betty made, made a mistake there, and you know, but it's still an awesome day by uh, Shaman there. Wow, Shaman taking out Batty with that shot through the uh, mid garden area. Soka does land nade onto Jiha in the meantime, and. Uh, the bomb carrier is Tony for Striatus, as his nade does land attacks, he could spot one at the B bomb plant. There's Izo coming in with the scope, trying to peek and take down the guy who was wandering about the uh, B bomb site. But he needs to be careful of Shaman's scope, as uh, he is dangerous on this map. We all know that. It just, as I said, Izo falling down to... Uh, Shaman scope, but Tony coming in first with the tags, then follows up with the SMG, shuts down Eminem, and that just leaves the situation uh, two v three in favor of uh, Aerosol. As Virus is going for that nade onto Shaman, is he gonna land? Not, not enough uh, distance, I guess. Virus is gonna try to repeak and challenge the scope of Shaman. Not a smart thing to do. And there, there is the peak. 
Shaman not reacting. There is Shaman actually, and it does take him down. 25 seconds left. Tony in a clutch situation. 1v3. Shaman Piki and reacts to fine. And uh, Tony does spot one, gets the tags onto Shaman, but he backs away and he, he's probably going to go for this A side plant. He doesn't have enough time, I believe. 10 seconds or so left, and there should be probably one guy crossing into A very quickly. 6 seconds, 5 seconds left, not enough time. I'm sorry, Tony, this round is not going to be yours. As uh, there is Reacts coming in with the SMG, taking him down and uh, making the score 4 to 3 on attack. Still in favor of Shoyatus, and that's total score 11 to 8. Yeah, two more rounds to pick up for uh, Stratos. They have five rounds left to do so. As uh, Soccer is tossing on some flashes in that area. Um, only getting tags, not getting any use out of these flashes. And I'm not sure, that's just a waste of flash in my opinion. They know someone is in mid area now, but so what? You don't take any advantage of that. You just know there is someone and you know that anyways. And he just tossed out two na uh, nade and two flashes. That's really a waste there. Sh they should wait for the uh, go from Aristo. Um, however, uh, Sokka got taken down by Virus with his ACR. Um, <coughs> as long as the scope is alive, everything can happen. Eminem tossing out a nade onto the B spot. Um, not hitting anything. He hits something with his flash though. Um, Virus gets another kill in this round. Tony gets. Uh, offensive kill onto Eminem and as Buddy gets another offensive kill onto Reacts, playing it very aggressively and Shaman has no chance in doing anything. Impressive. That's the draw for Restriators. Yeah. Um, Virus and Tony got a double kill there. Tony even uh, in quick su succession and this uh, pistol. Pretty amazing stuff from him. He's sitting on 11 to 5 right now. And again, Circle is tossing off these flashes. Why? He yeah, should be more efficient with those flashes, of course, as Virus gets a... Uh, what kind of kill was that? I don't even know. Explosion or what? As uh, the score is going to be a uh, little bit more in favor of Striatus, of course, who just need two rounds to win this. One round, in fact, as it's 12 to 8. And Tony is still top fragging for Team Striatus. And this could possibly be their round because they still have enough people standing. And Shaman taking down the opposition scope, scope on scope action. Shaman has been doing the damage for his team uh, a little bit more than on C Town. However, it's not enough. He's doing eight to six. He's doing the best he can. But uh, Team Striat is proving to be too strong at the moment. And there's Tony, who has been tagged by Shaman. Oh wow! Soka coming in, shutting down Tony. Shaman with another one onto Batty. That just leaves Jihai in a very important position as he takes down the diffuser who was Soka just before Virus did pick up one trying to flank and that just leaves Shaman in a clutch. Can he get this? He needs to play play this one very well as he does approaches the B bomb side. Spams away the ACR he just picked up, but uh Virus does shut him down. And that is GG's, ladies and gents. Triatus are in the final of this Modern Warfare 3 All Star Scope, and they're gonna meet up with the Orgless X Illusion Networks, of course, the team of Freaking Noise. Uh, are you looking forward to meet up with Triatus Freaky? Yeah, what are totally. Um, we lost against them in group on Resistance, and yeah, they, they seem pretty strong in Resistance. They know what to do. They made some mistakes today, but you know, we, we reworked our tactics completely, and we, all, we really got them. Really, really good on every map now, and maybe except Bakera, but everyone knows that so we completely suck on Bakera, even though we beat some teams on that. But <laughs> um, we're gonna downvote Bakera anyways, like we do every time. Yeah. Uh, Either yeah. way, the outcome is two to nil. Striatu is not losing the map in the uh, in the streak, winning the C Town and. Doing the same pretty much on uh, on uh, MP Paris, uh, which is of course the resistance map. They have been proved to be stronger on attack for the both maps. And uh, as we said, Stratus and Orgles X Illusion Networks in the final of this European Modern Warfare 3 All Stars Cup. Uh,
if uh, to name any individuals, of course, Batty has been dominated, dominating uh, on C Town. So was Eminem uh, in that mid market area, and uh, on resistance, I think it was pretty much Tony and Shaman. Shaman, unfortunately. Uh, it wasn't enough for his team to make it count as they lost and they are out of the competition. Either way, they did a very good job uh, get, managing to get all the way into the semi-finals. However, there's only two teams left and um, that is Striatus and team, the Oglis team of Freaking Noise and his French comrades, uh, X Illusion Network. So yeah, really looking forward to that one and uh, made the best team win. So good luck to both teams. And, uh, yeah, may the best one, may the best team win. Oculus. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, guys, I, uh, I guess that's all for us for tonight, and we will see you in the next few days with the final. So take care and uh, good night.